What's up YouTube? Yeah, we check this gadget. Coming to you with an unboxing of the new Microsoft Lumia 640. So, I got the AT&T version. Let's get right into it. Orange phone, go phone. Here's the box. There's the phone 4G LTE Microsoft Lumia 640. If you didn't know, Microsoft bought Nokia, so no more Nokia Lumia, only Microsoft Lumia. And I hope they get back to it. In the box, you will get manuals, user guide, warranty junk. Um, they do give a nice little quick instruction manual to help these good people out for people that might not be familiar familiar <laughs> with Windows. So that is nice. This is my first, first Go phone, so maybe this is something they include in all Go phones. I know when it comes to the feature, the postpaid feature phones, well, not those type feature phones, high end phones or whatever you want to call them, they don't include that. Also, you get your wall charger. It has Microsoft right here branding. And as you can see, it does not disconnect, so you cannot connect this to. The computer strictly for your wall but have no worries because they were nice enough to include include a sync cable for you so you don't have to worry about going to find your wall charger unplugging unplugging your sync cable then leaving it at the computer when you need to have it into the wall so now you can have it this over here by your computer this will stay plugged up at all times and that is micro usb so that is no problem I already powered up the phone, put my battery in, got to restore. Here is the actual phone. It has a 2500 milliamp battery. Here is the back of the phone with some Microsoft branding there, also AT&T. This phone is also carried by T-Mobile. Now this is the best part about this phone. This phone is only $79.99, no contract. Let me say it again. $80 for this phone, no contract. Excellent deal considering it has 720 HD. Because the other phone, the one before this, the 635, didn't. 420. This is much better. And it's only $80. They have the 635 more than this right now. T Mobile was selling theirs for like $130 for whatever reason. But yeah, so they have it. Uh, looks like Cricket has it. T-Mobile, Metro PC, S, or you can buy it from Microsoft if you want to. Some specs on this phone. We have a 5 inch 720 HD screen, 8 megapixel camera, LED flash, uh, width 72.2 millimeters, lengthwise 141.3 millimeters, thickness 8.8 millimeters. If you buy it on lock, you can get a, you can get this in blue, white, or black. Um, AT and T only carries the black. Front facing camera, 0.9 megapixels, but it is HD. You're supposed to get HD video out of it, wide angle. Quad core 1.2 processor. The downside does have a 4G LTE network, even though it's not showing up there. And but the downside is only has 8 gigabyte in storage memory. But the great thing is it does take micro SD up to 128 gigabytes. So that is no problem considering how cheap micro SD cards are these days. Once again, you get all of this for a low price of $80. Uh, another new phone that just came out that's comparable to this is, but it's, it's only for Verizon, is the Verizon Lumia or Microsoft Lumia 735. It's 4.7 inches. Has a camera's not as good and um something else camera's not as good and something else i can't think but um that one's 200 so and then this is the other kick apart i got this for 60 dollars because if you go to at&t and you buy one of their prepaid plans they give you 20 dollars off the phone instantly so that's 20 dollars i'm on their prepaid 40 dollar plan well, it was 45 dollars but if you sign up for auto auto pay it brings it down to forty dollars you get unlimited talk text 1.5 gigabytes which is plenty for me because i'm always by wi-fi and they have the new rollover data so that works well for me for forty dollars i'll take it so that is the phone 
buttons wise and we have buttons on the right side here so move that out the way so you have your power button value rocker i noticed that they do not have the camera shutter button like on previous windows phones i've had headphone jack at the top nothing on the sides on the right left side micro usb at the bottom just to give you you should know i have a, actually had a playlist when i used to talk about windows phones but just bring down my windows history it's been a minute since i had a windows phone well like six months or something but um I start off with the HD7, love that phone. Had the Samsung Focus, love that phone. I loved all my Wonder phones actually. Had the HTC 8X, and I had the Nokia uh, Icon. Loved, loved, loved that phone. I just hate Verizon when update the software. So since then, Microsoft have made some major changes to the OS, such as adding Cortana. Let me change my exposure because that orange is looking like all the way off okay so when i had um last time i had it i think i was still had it when it was one to seven because i think that's what we were waiting for an upgrade to if i remember correctly but they didn't have like the status bar that this swipe down didn't exist so didn't have that the quick toggles didn't have that uh, I, somehow I got to the camera this right here these touch capacitor buttons didn't have that we actually had the physical button so they don't have that anymore you got the touch um, touch capacitor buttons got the search bar which search anything I'm very interested to check out Cartana we got the Lumia camera so let's click here for the apps okay does that not go to the apps Okay, I have to scroll all the way down here for the apps. I'm sure it's something else. It's loading some of my old stuff. And I think they made a new change in the settings. So to make it a little easier, you can just search, which really helps because I wasn't used. I'm not used to this new message. Um, this new one, I'm used to the one where they had it going across like the old style. So trying to find brightness is sometimes annoying. So I can just simply just search and there you go. Brightness, turn off automatic, high, and there we go. So I will tell you, come like I said, I've had all high-end phones. If you just watch my channel, right now I currently have the Note 4. I just recently sold my iPhone 6. So you know I'm used to high-resolution screens. In the store, the screen did not look that good. I don't know, maybe it was the lighting. At first, initially, I thought the sev the the Verizon, that Lumia 735, I thought that screen looked better than they have a, that screen has an OLED. This one is a LCD, clear, I think that's what they call it, clear, clear something, LCD or whatever. But um, now, looking at it, it looks, it looks really good. It looks good enough for me. Let me pull up the news app. Here we go. So I had look. I was putting side by side. And first, initially, I thought the 735 looked it better, but then this had more truer to colors, and this was a little brighter actually. So now that I see this in some different lighting, this actually looks very. This this looks pretty good for it to be a eighty dollar phone. This looks darn good to get the job done. Remember that this is eighty dollars, like. And I got it for 60 Oh, and the other kicker thing, which this plan expires today. So if you didn't get it, hopefully they bring it back. But the other kicker thing is, by me buying this phone, you have to get about this one or the 640 XL. I know for sure this one. And maybe some of the other phones too, but I know for sure this one. You got Office 365 for a year. So I'm going to go sign it up. You get Office 365 for a year. I bought this one $60. I get Office 365 for a year for free. Can't beat it. Now, as you can see here, I haven't. I it is loading my apps in the background, but I think that's how AT&T initially sets it up. You see, you got AT&T Navigator. You got Amazon, Skype, Mix Radio, YP. I'm not sure what this app is right here. Q 
keeper so that is some of the stuff and here goes some more AT&T bloatware I like to call it their address book locker navigator and then a bunch of Lumia stuff and all that good stuff so that has been an unboxing of the Nokia Lumia 640 the next video I do after this will be uh, based a little more on the features of it once I figure out all the new stuff in um, the there we go AT&T LTE once I figure out all the new ins and out of the operating system I'm very glad to have like this drop down with the quick toggles looks like I cannot switch that I'm hoping I can change it but we figure out that good stuff out I'll talk about the battery life so look forward to a review of this phone the Microsoft Lumia 640. Till next time, make sure you subscribe. Later.